Projection, the topic for this week. I mean, if we understand how to manage our emotions like we've been talking about the last 12 videos, then why isn't everybody walking around a total beacon of wisdom? Because we don't get in touch with the pain, with the unconscious anxiety, with the unconscious anger, which is sadness. We don't allow ourselves to feel it because it's painful. It is neurologically uncomfortable. So what we do is we create mechanisms, defense mechanisms against the pain. And one of the most popular ones that I see is projection. It's when we take anxiety. It can be sadness, but it's usually anxiety. See, that's anxiety. And we don't see it as in us, right? We, we, we don't have, we, we can't do this. But we have to do something with the anxiety. We can't walk around all day with the anxiety as so we project it out. And we say, oh, it's not us. The bad thing isn't us. It is this thing out here, usually a politician. Not to get too political, but there is a lot of projection, projection going on, particularly right now. I won't say uh, who we're projecting onto, but uh, it's really happening a lot. It's because people have this and they need to blame somebody for this bad feeling they have. They have to project it out. It's like a, a, a benzo. It's an automatic benzo that your, that your body gives to you. Oh, it's not me. It's this politician. It's this person who has way more money than I have. It's uh, this guy who's better looking. I'm, I'm often the object of projections for that reason. <laughs> you know, it's, oh, this thing out here, that's bad. Oh, that's the bad thing. I don't have to look at myself as the, as the problem. I don't have to do all this difficult work of bringing up the unconscious anxiety, journaling, meditating. I don't have to go to stupid group and talk to all those losers at the dumb group. Hmm, I'm just going to blame some politician out here. Maybe a politician is better looking than I am. Two for one. That's one kind of anxiety. The other kind is we project our value, which the reason that we don't accept whatever is valuable in us as us is because of anxiety. We project it out and we go, oh, this is not us that's, um, that, that's valuable. It's this thing out here. That's the good thing that's outside of us. This is religion. Oh, this Eden out there, this heaven that exists, this other person, whoever I worship. Oh, that's the good one. That's the good person. And this is a conspiracy theory. This disconnects us from this. Now, often in religion, there is a conspiracy theory. Like, what is bad? What's a projection of our anxiety? Obviously, it's the devil. Either it's the devil or, or you're not managing your unconscious uh, anxiety. What do you think it is, dummy? Think it's the devil? Maybe. Or maybe it's something inside you which you can manage and turn into your own personal God, of course, by you becoming whatever you project your value on. Jesus, whoever it happens to be. I don't know, Moses. A great movie that, that really discusses uh, projection well is Rush Hour with Chris Tucker and Jackie Chan. The whole movie is one exercise in projection. Well, first, the FBI projects on a Chris Tucker. They project their own ineptitude on a Chris Tucker. You know, they're the ones who can't really do anything. But Chris Tucker is the loud one. He's the brash one. So this guy's the problem. It's not us. It's this guy getting in the way. Then Chris Tucker projects on a Jackie Chan his own inability to communicate. He assumes that Jackie can't speak English. But who's the one who really can't speak English quote unquote, it's Chris Tucker. He can't get along. He can't get along with his fellow policemen. They all just kind of laugh at him like he's this joke. And he is the, uh, he's the, the trickster character in a sense. And Jackie Chan, of course, projects on a Chris Tucker, his own ineptitude, his own inability to deal with authority because Jackie Chan commits another projection. He projects his own uh, competence, projects his own competence onto authority, projects it onto the FBI, onto the Chinese consulate, but it's Jackie Chan who is uh, who's the capable one. And they don't resolve their projection until they do what? Make their uh, unconscious conscious. They have a sit down conversation and they really get to know one another and they see each other reflected in the other one. And then their projection is resolved and they say, wait a minute, we're the ones who can do it. We're the ones who have both the good 
and the bad, but it's because we have an internal locus of control, what we learned about last week. Once we realize this anxiety, this quote, bad is in us, we can use it in a healthy way to, to save uh, Sue Young. Uh, great, God, just a great movie. And there's a meta projection on top of all this. Rush Hour only got a 60% on Rotten Tomatoes. So clearly, the, the movie critics are projecting out what they think is a good movie, probably some art house, indie sort of black and white, Wes Anderson. Oh, you know, every scene could be a postcard. Oh, it looks so beautiful. That's what a good movie is. And because of that, they can't see the gold that is Rush Hour. You can't see it. Or I think they really can see it. I'm guessing they can see it, but there's too much of this down here. There's too much of this anxiety of, I know it's a good movie, I want to give it a good review, but I want to fit in with other movie critics. This is what fitting in is. Just avoid and just go down. But hanging out with people who agree with you all the time, that is a great avoidance technique. That's a great way to avoid anxiety. Just saying what people want you to say that is a great way to fit in, but this anxiety accumulates and you have to project it out. Oh, it's not me, that's the, that's the stupid thing, that's the paint by the numbers, right? Supposedly. Uh, we've seen this before, buddy cop movie. It's not me, or it's not the, the movie that's uh, the pastiche. It is Rush Hour. Pastiche, did I use that word correctly? It sounds right. Anyway, Rush Hour, great movie. Uh, it really encapsulates what we're talking about here. And of course, we solve this. You don't, you don't just stop projecting. You don't solve projection by, stop, by telling yourself, oh, I shouldn't do this. I shouldn't project. No, you look at your anxiety. You go to group and hang out with all those losers, as we talked about. Bring your unconscious anxiety up. Feel it. Feel the pain of it. You know you're doing this right when you're feeling the pain, journaling, meditating, watching myths. You know, get in touch with myth, like Rush Hour, another great way. And then using the anxiety in a helpful way and keep doing that over and over until you get rid of your projection and you can really see Rush Hour as the treasure of psychological gold that it is.